and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkan Wiersma, also known as EJ. <laughs> I think that's a little bit easier for a lot of people. Anyhow, it's time to uh, do an update on the uh, self-watering mount. I was planning uh, on this video for uh, several weeks, but yeah, uh, it was uh, a little bit like uh, something came up uh, constantly in between videos that needed to be done, and especially the repottings. Because sometimes uh, you, you don't want to wait too uh, too long, of course. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I, I'm I'm making the video now, and um, I'm glad I'm doing because I think I want want to end this uh, this uh, uh, project because it is just not working as I was hoping. To be honest, so uh, yeah, I'm. Um, Suggesting that we will have a look at them uh, one by one. That's I think the easiest one, way to go about it And yeah, so it will not be uh, that pretty and therefore I thought yeah You know, we need something that is really doing well in the in the background for this video. This is my uh, dendrophyllum magnum uh, Which I believe is now reclassified as a selogeny magnum uh, I didn't look it up yet, but I still have it as a dendrophyllum and this one is uh, currently working on uh, up blooming with four spikes, I should say. So that's that's nice. That's pretty. And uh, yes, you know what? Let's uh, get uh, get that close up so we know what we are talking about with these self-watering mounts. So here we are. I have the camera in my hand, so I can do a better close up. But yeah, you can already. Uh, see the uh, white residue on this uh, cell watering mount sadly uh, i didn't fertilize them much but still i did get this residue and i think yeah maybe it's a little bit of mold but i think it's more like a salt build up to be honest uh, i have it on this uh, cintiq as well so yeah i'm not completely sure but it feels like uh, i'm more like a salt and i didn't have it for that long but I need to say, uh, in the beginning, I just had this beautiful moss growing and that was for the first uh, couple of weeks, months. So I thought, yeah, that is going to look very pretty. But then even the moss, <laughs> even the moss decides I'm not, I'm not going to grow in this mount. It, uh, it's, it's really dying off. So yeah, something is wrong there. Maybe the materials, the setup, I'm not completely sure, but you can see this is the uh, Dracula Bella. And yeah, this is the new growth. This new growth are rotted off. And I think another new growth, yeah, this one. Obviously this one is also rotting off. So yeah, it really, really is not doing well. And I really think that I'm going to lose it. It did try to make a spike. So I thought, well, if this starts to bloom, then I'm going to do an update, even though it's not really doing well. <laughs> it's nice to have a close-up of the bloom, but no, it's not working. And I really don't know what to do with it. For now, I'm going to leave it on, on this mound, but, and I try to uh, put some hydrogen peroxide on it to see if it really is no mold. I will make sure of that, but yeah, it's just not doing well. Maybe, maybe I try to, I have a, a net pot with the big holes, Probably should repot it in that and see if I can get it to go again and then probably find try to find a new home for it. But yeah, it's it's not a happy plan, so I'm I'm not even sure if it's if it's going to make it. Sadly. Sadly, sadly. But it's still uh, wet and damp here. So that works. But uh, yeah, this one also doesn't like the mount and like I said, even the moss is dying off, which is sad because it looked so pretty. You can see we have a lot of moss starting and then it's it's dying back. And it's not because I have a little immunity here in my orchid room because in the pots the moss is still growing, but uh, yeah, not on this mount. So that's the first one. Let's have a look at the, the second one. And that is the Odontonia Viona Eisler. So yeah, I also need to mention that these plants that we did select for this self-watering mount project weren't doing well from the beginning. So maybe I should have tried uh, another one or two or three plants that were uh, in a better condition. But still, as you can see, the residue on the, on the mount, I really, uh, really do not like it. So it's also white stuff in there. Not sure what it is, but... Uh, but anyhow, it, it's just not, not, not really working. I'm happy that I tried it, so now I know. And it's still, it 
does wick, so it's still damp. I did higher, uh, put a more water in, so the water level is higher. But um, yeah, that didn't solve the problem. And it starts with these, if you don't look at this leaf, that's from another bowl behind. It does kind of look pretty, but this one just refuses to grow the roots in anything. Also not on these mounds, so I'm going to take it off and I probably going to try it again with a bit of Cintiq and the bigger pumice. Maybe some more air, but yeah, I know this one has a lot of air and humidity. It, it just doesn't want to grow, but it keeps on making these new growths. But yeah, someday it will stop doing that, I think, because there's not a lot of energy going in the plant. So, but I have this one, let me check, from uh, 2021, as you can see, so two years, over two years now. It's still here. I believe it's, these are four pieces of plant. And it, it's, I did try it in a pot and it did exactly the same. So yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, sadly, it's just not, uh, not doing well. Cannot get it to grow. So this is the second one, also not doing well. Let's have a look at the last one. And that is the Anzidium Varicosum Baldum Black. And this one, I don't know if you remember, but this one started off with a heck of a lot of roots and new growths. And yeah, <laughs> this is uh, it now. You can see the bulbs are a bit shriveled. Maybe this is just what it does, but I think it's a little bit too shriveled, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, I was like, where are those roots? It's just that almost looks like they dis disappear. I know we have a lot of moss here as well. Let me try to get it off a little bit. Yeah, we have some roots there. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a little bit dark on the camera. If I zoom in, you can see there's a root, but yeah, I, w I was expecting because it took off so many roots, we would have with so many roots, we would have some aerial roots or some going uh, across the mound, but you can see in a similar picture, the moss is dying off, you have that white stuff, but no roots, I, just, I don't see the roots anymore. We have new roots starting, yes, but it's just not doing well, sadly. This bulb, however, does we're, is working on a, a spike at the moment. So that's nice, but I had it to, in bloom when I had it in pot as well. So that's not much of a difference, but I do have way more growths. I have one, two, three, four, five. Where before I only had one, the rest kept dying off. And here's even a new growth there. So yeah, this one may stick around and the leaves are not looking bad on this one. But I'm going to take it out again off of, uh, I should say, off of this mount. And I think I'm going to try this one as well with Cintiq and large pumice. So there's more, still more air in there and hopefully that's the balance that I need. But you can see here something dying, died off as well in your growth. That may be even before, I'm not completely sure, but yeah, not doing so well. And we have some moss growing. So I thought, yeah, that would be beautiful if everything turns out doing great on this mound. Lots of moss, lots of moss on there, but no. The, even a moss, like I said, is uh, refusing to grow. So yes, I think we uh, can safely say that this setup is uh, also not what these plants like. I'm happy with it. Uh, they try it. I hope you are. Uh, are uh, happy uh, we did this, uh, this this project on my channel as well. There were some people that mentioned that they would love to try a self uh, self watering mount or some similar setup uh, for themselves as well. Well, if you did, I really really hope that yours are doing better than mine. Like I said, probably I should have tested it is uh, this setup as well with two, at least two or three uh, healthy plants, which I didn't do, but. Maybe that the residue is because of these plants are not really uh, uh, eating, so they are not using the fertilizer because it's a, it's a residue, it's a white powdery residue. 
and uh, I, I did test it and I can feel it now. But anyhow, yeah, so that, that also in, in, um, indicates that these really do not have roots that are working properly. Because as you probably know, I don't feel high at all. It looks like I did give these uh, pretty, uh, a, a pretty amount of fertilizer, which I didn't do. Most of the time I just skipped fertilizer because they wouldn't grow. So, uh, so yeah, that's absolutely not the case. Anyhow, we did, a, we did a project. Like I said, please let me know if you uh, tried the setup or, or maybe you have some ideas what might have gone wrong. Um, like I said, I'm not completely sure what I will do with the plants, but I think I need to uh, at least repot them and see if they uh, if I can find another setup that I didn't try already with these guys. But yeah, we shall see in the a, in a near future. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching and of course if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like uh, uh, this video, please uh, give it a like. And for now, uh, thank you uh, so much and I really, really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. Uh,